How are you? Well, I have to say I'm I'm doing I'm doing good. Uh, I've had better days. I have, but um, I just want to say uh, I think I've I, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, things are all right. I've had um, I uh, I'm, I think I'm doing fine for where I'm at in my life right now. Uh, I was I'm uh, I mean I I I could I, it depends on who you ask. I could say that it's not a good day. But I'd like to say it's a good day. You know what I'm saying? And I'd like to say that I think you uh, will enjoy this interview just as much as I will enjoy this interview. Uh, probably because we're just happy people. As uh, straightforward, we have some stuff in common. Uh, well, that's just fine and dandy. Do you know why we're doing this interview today? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing this interview today, but... I have a feeling it is because of all of my work in the field of writing. I'm a very big blogger, uh, what have you. Uh, I, I like to uh, uh, blog about my life. Uh, I'm a b big uh, home blogger. Uh, Why do you think, I mean, what, what is it you like to blog about? What's your favorite thing in the world to write blogs about? Hmm. Uh, I like, I like, um, I like to, I like to blog about, uh, things that pertain to me. I'm, I'm married to an Indian American, and I like to swim. I work for UPS, that sort of milieu. Uh, I have my children, uh, boo 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 and roo boo. And I like to blog about them, you know, straightforward. Uh, that's sort of why I think I, I am a big, big blogger. Because, because people like what I blog about. Well, Ray Robert is just a very popular genre of blog. Oh, blog. It is, uh, I think it's really just, it's, 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 um, it's just something I like to do. It's more a hobby. I can lose my money from uh, UPS, but people seem to think it's a pretty big deal. Would you say it's sort of in the genes for you to be a big blogger? I mean, you do have some family in the entertainment industry, and I think you have a very entertaining blog that you run. Do you think that's anything to do with it at all, relatively? <laughs> well, you see, I would have to... I'm going to get pretty serious with you. I, I never really felt like I belonged in my family, probably because my mom was a little and she uh, her stepmom was one in the fourth, and her real mom was Regina Fettelson, and uh, she married her uncle, my dad, Carl Fettelson, and I came up with a mom, and I honestly, <laughs> I think that more importantly, I should say, I never really felt like I had a really strong family line, mainly because of that deficit. I just, I, uh, I never really felt like I had an entertainment blog, more of, for example, people just didn't seem to get that it was for me, I just, uh, it was, um, I think because of my voice, I've been held back quite a bit, and I, I hate to be, uh, that kind of guy, but I think people prejudge me based on my voice, and that's why I don't do a vlog, but why I do a blog because I want them to see that I'm more than just the guy with a crappy voice. I think that, quite frankly, my voice does hold me back on the voice of my kids because that's just the way the world works, so to speak. And I don't think it's ever going to change. At least for me, I don't think it's going to change all too much. And, uh, I feel pretty content to say that it is just gonna be that way.
till the end of my lifetime because I've tried vocal surgeries and I don't think they really work too much for me. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, well, that's a sad story. Would you say that your voice was inherited or that you were just given the God-given crappy voice you got? <sighs> that's a really tricky question. Probably because I've always felt like my voice was what sort of the out for other people. Mainly because I have trouble controlling the volume of my voice on a daily basis. I've never really been able to say that. I think my voice is sort of in trouble. I'm improving myself normally. Probably because of the voice. And I think it's about time that I find something that I can use to my advantage to help me get a better uh, thing going. For example, um, Alfred Hitchcock uh, was a dude, he had a camera, and, you know, she had a shower and a psycho thing, that was a good movie, and when she screamed, I felt like I should scream too, but when I screamed, people didn't like it when I screamed, and it's probably because of my voice, it's, you know, that is the number one contender for why people just loathe me. For example, uh, the biographer of me, uh, Etano Lopez. Mm. Well, uh, I don't know why I was silent, but I will say it's probably because my biographer didn't really like me. Stephen King's a cool author. I like his butt plug, to be honest with you. I think that's his most redeeming quality. Um, I thank you for coming me down. Stephen King's butt plug is sort of what got me into the field of blogging. My first blog was about his butt plug, and uh, I still keep up to it today. I am a frequent blogger. I um I I I I I I I I I don't really know how to put it any other way except people like me because of my blog, and I like it too. I like it a lot. I like being recognized on the street as, hey, rolling with a roll and rolling single stick. How stupid is it? Mainly because of the step relationship that I've always had with Juanita, the Zors, and the Verse. I just never felt like it was really a big relationship.